Welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. Today I want to show you how to make something I think I came up with. I'm not sure. I know that the parts and the pieces I put together from things that somebody else came up with, so I need to give proper credit where credit is due. I combined, let's see, one, two, three, at least three techniques that I learned from Julie at Dear Julie Julie here on YouTube, and I will link her below. I have to credit her with the majority of the things that I have learned about junk journaling and making these beautiful books. So today, what I'm going to show you is something I call a belly band flip up, flip down, flip flop. So, belly band, flip up, flip down, and a flip flop. All things I learned watching Dear Julie, Julie. And I am working in this dragonfly journal right now. Here is the cover. And for this page, I wanted to put a belly band. But I also knew that I wanted to do something with this white page back here. I don't hate white pages but I also don't love white pages. So, I am going to work on both sides of this paper today doing something. And since my book, this is, I can't remember, I think it's 10 inches tall because I think my cover is 10 and a half because that gave me a quarter inch leeway on both sides. The page I'm working with is 10 inches tall and six inches wide. And so my belly band I'm going to make this time is three inches wide. You can adjust it for however much you need. But since my page is 10 inches tall, I need a long piece of paper to do this technique. So I turned a 12 by 12 inch sheet of paper on its, on its angle. It measures from here to here 17 inches. And so you can depending on the width of your belly band, make, well, it doesn't even depend on the width of your belly band. So you can make a long strip from this. If you go from end to end, you have 17 inches to work with. Now, obviously that gets a little bit shorter the further out you go. So you won't have 17 inches here to here, but you start with 17 and that may just be enough to fasten it to your page. I took my sheet of, of 12 by 12 inch paper and I cut it two inches, yes, two inches down. Actually, it was two and a half inches down from the corner. I forgot that I had already rounded that corner. So two and a half inches down from the corner along the side and that gives me a three and a half inch belly band. If you wanted a skinnier belly band, you would not go as far down the sides. You could go one inch and probably get a two inch wide belly band. I wanted it to be wider because I wanted it to be wider on the back for my flip up, flip down and flip flops to be covered. So the first thing I am going to do, I'm gonna move these parts to the other side. I simply prepped them to be ready so you wouldn't have to watch me cutting a bunch of paper. You could just watch the technique. This will be the base of my belly band and I am going to center it pretty much on my page, getting an eye for where the glue needs to be. I use a lot of Fabri-Tac. Fabrifix 3-in-1. They are basically all the same thing. And I use that a lot in my journals. It happens to be my favorite glue and I know it works well. And in this case, since I want to have a moving part on the back side of the page, I glue the belly band side down. And I will tell you in just a few moments the other ways that I... Um, reasons that I would glue on the other side, okay? But right now, we're gonna glue that down. And that is the beginning. I am going to actually make this a double belly band. So I have 
my second belly band already cut and it doesn't quite reach to the top or the bottom because it came from an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And so I am going to just glue the edges, the ends of the backs of these. So I'm just going to glue the ends of the backs of these, just a little bit there and a little bit there. This picture really on the, on the front is really not directional, so it doesn't matter which end is up and which end is down. And I'm going to go for eyeballing it centri centrally. Hmm. I'm going to go for eyeballing the center of the page and the center up and down. So side to side and up and down to place that. And now I have a double belly band here. Now to get to the second part of this, which is the flip up, flip down, we'll turn the page and where this line is here is going to be where I fold. I'll get my folder out so that I've got a, a really good straight edge on there. And I'll do the same at the top. Now, these obviously don't reach each other. And you could leave it at that if you wanted to. If you just wanted to have a tiny little flip flop or flip up, flip down right there, you could put your piece of paper right there and there's a flip up and do the same thing down here and that's a flip down but I'm going a little bit further with it. I had another piece of paper. I believe that these measure five by seven before they were cut. Um, no, they were six by seven. Okay, so they were almost a square, not quite. And I cut them down so that they would fit just right here inside that flap and I am going to glue it to the flap. Now, if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to glue it to the flap. You could actually make that another flip if you wanted, but I'm going to glue it to the flap because I have a particular design that I am going after on this. So I'm going to glue it, make sure I get these edges. I rounded the corners on my points because all of my right angle corners I am rounding, at least all of them that I remember to do that to. I just noticed that I didn't do it on some of those, but I won't make you watch me do that. And I'm going to lay this right here so that it is lined up right against the edge. And I'm going to press it down. And that, ex that essentially extends this flap of the belly, ba belly band from the front side. Ouch. And then I will do the same thing on this one up here. You'll want to make sure when you are doing this part that these two are lined up so that if you got a little off kilter on one or the other, this way you'll catch it back up to being straight. Okay. So now we have a flip up and a flip down, but we also want to have a flip flop in there. And the way that you do a flip flop is, I already have this one folded. And the way that I do that, first I fold it in half. And I don't remember if this is exactly the way Julie had us doing it. It may just be the way that it worked out in my head to remember it better. But I fold it in half. And then I take one side of it and I line it up on one of those lines or about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, however big you want your flip flop to be. And then I just smooth down, creating a crease down here at the bottom. So you see the gap there between those two. And that creates these two creases right here. You see that? And that is where you put your glue. These two sides will both remain free moving. Okay, so we will go ahead 
and line them up under here. The same as we did this extra part here, we will also line this up right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have these little bottles. I got, I think a dozen of them on Amazon and they come with the little cap that is on a loop so it doesn't get lost. And you can get a teeny tiny precise little line here. And that's what I'm gonna use on this flip flop. Scoot out here where you can see it. That's what I'm gonna use on this flip flop. And then I don't have as much glue oozing out of the sides and I don't have so many things that get accidentally glued together. Yes, I've had that happen a lot. <laughs> so you're just going to glue that portion there, that little quarter inch gap, and I'll line it up right under where that flip-flop goes. And then pull your flip-flop up to make sure it covers it because you want that to be hidden under the flip up. And then again, we'll do the same thing on the top. And we will line this up just like we did the other one. Line it up, line it up. You can kind of use that one to help you with the line up, but again, put your paper over it to make sure that it's covered. All right, so right now we have our belly band, flip up, flip down, and a flip flop. And another flip flop here. And then I am going to go one step further. I am also going to put a note list in here. And I have taken some of this steno pad, this vintage steno, steno pad, because I found a date in it that said it was 1970 something. So this puppy's like almost 50 years old. And I stitched it across the top to hold it together. I've got four sheets here. And I am just gonna glue it at the top so that this list can be torn out if necessary. So in order to put this list here, again, I want to have, be able to use this as a tear away sheet. So I am putting the glue where the stitching is because when you stitch it, it essentially perforates your paper, making it, whoops, there we go, making it perfect for a tear away sheet. I'm going to line that up right there. I left the edges, the torn edges from the holes of the sheet on because I, I kind of like that look. So now I'll put my lower flip flop up over that, my upper flip flop over that, and then my flip up, no, my flip down is going to flip up and my flip up is going to flip down. Now I could put, I don't quite have that. I'll have to do a little adjusting because it's not quite lined up as perfectly as I would like. I'm a little bit intense about things like that. Now, I could put a paper clip on here to close it. I could put a magnet between these two to keep them closed. I could put Velcro between the two to keep them closed. I have not quite decided yet <laughs> what I'm gonna do with that. And I do have this that I cut out of another piece that I may, I may use on top and you actually make that into a magnetic closure or Velcro. I think that'll be pretty. And there is my belly band, double belly band. Flip up, flip down, flip up, flip flop, flip down, flip flop, and sewn perforated notebook. Thank you so much to dear Julie Julie for all of your inspiration. I really, really appreciate your tutorials, your challenges, and all the other things you do for us as a journaling group. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thank you so much. And remember, be kind always. Bye.